Hello all. Today my topic would be uh, sentiment analysis in R. So we are going to prepare a model, uh, a NLP model based on uh, sentiment analysis. We are going to use uh, sentiments of the reviews on Amazon products. So the data that we are going to use is Amazon product reviews. I have extracted a few reviews from Amazon uh, in for different products and I'll tell you how to extract them. The output that we are expecting are uh, the sentiment score based on reviews and uh, it can help a customer to take a better decision that which uh, product to go for you know considering different brands by just uh, analyzing the reviews. So the product the brand which has more positive reviews a customer can definitely go for that and we are going to visualize uh, our uh, model on Tableau. So let's start. I have already uh, written the script here just to save some time. So first uh, as you see I have used Amazon reviews exporter in Google Chrome to extract reviews. I will quickly show you uh, how to do that. It's very simple. So just install this uh, extension in your Chrome Amazon reviews exporter. And whenever you go to any product, let's say I have opened one product on Amazon and you click on this plugin, it gives you an option to download a CSV. Now, this CSV contains uh, four or five variables, including uh, one variable that is uh, reviews. So, I've already uh, downloaded it and I'll show you how it looks like. It, it exactly looks like this, and so there are many. Uh, uh, variables many columns here the ID of the person who has put the review the profile name This is the review by adding text then date title rating and images. So we are only concerned with uh, text now after this we just need to uh, import this file into R to start our uh, sentiment analysis The first step is uh, we have to load packages into R. Now text related, uh, text mining related packages are TM, Word Cloud and SYUZHET. So we'll quickly uh, run this and load the packages. After this we have to import the data into uh, R. So let's run this and in desktop I have saved it by the name of reviews. So desktop reviews. Okay. Now we want to check the structure of our data. Let's run this. So it shows all the columns uh, here with their uh, data type. We are only concerned with text. So what we'll do? We'll extract text out of it. First thing that we need to do in uh, Text analytics is uh, creating a corpus. Now, what is a corpus? It is simply a list of documents. Here, documents for us are uh, different reviews. So, um, how to uh, create a corpus? This is the syntax. So, we pass the variable as an in input to a function called ICONV first. What it does, it uh, translates value labels into a specific encoding that is used for text analytics. So just you can remember just to convert it into a specified uh, encoding we use this function and then we pass this uh, as an input to a function called vector source and then corpus with C capital that's the function to create a corpus. So let's run this. We have created the corpus. Now how does a corpus look like for that uh, this is the function called inspect where we are going to see corpus only uh, first five uh, observations first five rows. So out of all the reviews here you can see in corpus the first document is the first review second document is the second review and so on for 5 because we have been uh, 1 to 5 here. Now we'll perform uh, cleaning on our corpus and for that uh, tm underscore map function is used. So what we pass as input is first the corpus and what to do with the corpus in the second input. 
So first we are going to convert every alphabet to uh, the lower case. Let's run this. Now we'll remove punctuations from our corpus. We'll remove numbers from our corpus. We'll remove all the stop words like is, the, are and so many stop words are there in English. So we'll remove all that because that are of no use. And uh, so I'll run this file later. I'll tell you why. Let's run the next one. Strip white space basically uh, remove spaces from uh, the start and end of any text. And let's now inspect the corpus again. You will see all the changes that we did. So like this sentence is starting with isn't. So probably the first word could be this isn't one books and something so you can see that the stop words are removed and so are punctuations numbers and all the words are converted into a uh, lowercase yeah and uh, now we are just uh, building a final object by name of uh, reviews underscore final and passing the data the corpus data there and we are going to use this uh, reviews final now so next we are going to create a term document what is a term document um, you will see again so how how to create it this is the function term document matrix and we pass the corpus the refined corpus in it and how it appears the term document matrix you can see by this code again only first 10 rows and first five columns so this is a term document matrix uh, each row represents each word that is there in the corpus and each column represents each uh, review so let's see like the word also it appears four times in the first review two times in the second review and zero times in next three uh, reviews so this is a term document uh, that we have created now let's build a bar plot now uh, what we are doing we are uh, summing up all the values in the rows to get the actual uh, occurrence number of occurrence of that specific word and we are taking a subset where only we want those words whose occurrence is uh, greater than or equal to 25 because any word with less than that occurrence would not be of much use for us so let's create this uh, bar plot now this tells us that which word has the highest uh, occurrence highest frequency so you can see that the book word has highest frequency then is life then is read but all these words if you see these words doesn't represent any sentiment these are very common words uh, that are used in reviews of uh, of any any book any book reviews will have a word called book called read so we can ignore these words now let's run this line again so we are manually removing all book words read and life all these words let's run this again run this run this this and let's say again create a bar plot yes so now we have used that most uh, common words which doesn't re represent any sentiment now we can see that the highest frequency word is is good and uh, so there are there are other words also like you know must is also there simple is also there beautiful is also there so this gives us an idea that uh, most words that are uh, used in the reviews of uh, this book are uh, positive words let's create a word cloud and what is a word cloud i'll again show you after running this So this is a word cloud and uh, we can pass the inputs like the first input would be what the words are going to be. It's the names. That's that's obvious. And then the frequency maximum words is equal to 50. That means a cloud can this cloud can have maximum 50 words. Random order is equal to true so that it's randomly arranged. Minimum frequency colors and scaling. Scaling is used to fit the size sometimes like the scaling 3 comma 0 0.3 means that the the word with the highest frequency if that has a size 3 then of the lowest frequency would be 0 0.3.
okay so now this is the output that we get we can see here that good is used most of the times then there is uh, great also you know at the above you know on the upper side of the cloud then on the left you can see words like happy like and uh, so you can see that most of the words are uh, on on the lower uh, left side you can see amazing so you can see that uh, most of the words that are uh, being used very often in the reviews they are uh, positive words and now we'll be finding uh, sentiment scores of uh, reviews how do we do that again let's take only the text variable which contains all the reviews now pass that into a function which is called get nrc sentiment it basically gives us the scores based on a few emotions i'll show you that so when we pass this to get nrc sentiment and just see that how this looks like so get nrc sentiment gives us a matrix like this where uh, rows represent each uh, review and each column represents emotions like anger anticipation disgust and so on and the last two columns are is what is the negative score and what is the positive score of this particular review uh, we can create one more uh, column by name of score and we can calculate the final score there so what i have done i have subtracted the negative score from the positive to get the final score so let's run this and now see so one more column has been added score and it's giving us the final score of the review now this can be used in many ways this column i'll show you later how i have used this in uh, tableau to visualize and take uh, decisions on purchasing now we are going to uh, save this as a csv file on our desktop so let's run this function okay now we are going to uh, check the sentiment uh, overall sentiments of the product by its reviews so uh, because you can see that every column is a different uh, emotion and sentiment what we are doing here we are summing up the columns to get the whole the sum of scores so let's run this and uh, print this so here we can see that anger has 100 anticipation 681 and uh, so on and same we can plot a graph and this graph also helps us uh, in seeing that uh, this particular product, uh, the book which we have uh, chosen, most reviews are positive and the uh, trust factor is more, joy is more, anticipation is more and all the negative emotions like disgust, fear, sadness, they are very uh, low in frequency. So that uh, some way, you know, it, it means that uh, this book has more of positive uh, reviews than, than negative okay so now let's uh, see that how this csv file score csv file that we have extracted how this can help us in visualization now as you know that each row represents each review and each column represents uh, the score of that emotion that is there in that review so let's now our uh, focus is is mainly on the final score that we have calculated so what we can do let's say you know we can uh, for now we can hide all these emotions and focus on the final score and this is for book ikigai so yeah okay now what i have done i have created a same file already this is that file where I have uh, combined the scores of uh, four or five different books of the same genre. So here you can see of book Ikigai, Life's Amazing Secrets, Man's Search for Meaning. So all these books fall under uh, mental health and spirituality uh, 
you know so uh, why did i do this uh, let's go to tableau and find out so in tableau i opened this file this file i named as mind body and spirit books scores so this is the yawner on amazon of uh, these books mind body and spirit and i uh, created a histogram of uh, score variable i have written here that uh, minus 6 to 0 uh, are negative reviews 0 to 6 are positive and uh, any score which goes beyond 6 are exceptionally positive uh, reviews so if you see for all the books here i have total 7 uh, books uh, that i have done sentiment analysis on and i have scores for 7 uh, different books so if i consider all books i can see that around 93% of uh, the reviews are between uh, 0 to 6 and if i consider all positive 93 plus 2 So ninety-five percent are positive reviews and five percent are negative reviews in overall. But let's go uh, book-wise. So let's say I'm a customer and I want to uh, read a book related to you know mind and spirit, something related to mental health, and I'm not able to decide. So let's see how this uh, visualization can help me decide which book to purchase. Let's go on the first book, Death: An Inside Story. Now this is a book by uh, a famous person called Sadguru. Now this book has around you can say seventy nine plus to eighty one percent of reviews on the positive side because the score is between zero to uh, you can say twelve, and there are eighteen percent reviews that are also on the negative side. Now if I compare this with let's say another book called Ikigai, it's a Japanese uh, book. Now this book has around ninety four percent positive reviews and only five percent negative. So. Uh, considering the reviews i should go uh, you know for ikigai rather than death and inside story and if i check life Am- amazing secrets it has around 98% positive then man search for meaning has around it has less like 87% positive 5 am club by robin sharma it has around 92 the power of subconscious mind it has the highest till now it has 97% of positive reviews and the secret has 94 so this visualization clearly told me that the power of subconscious mind this book has maximum number of uh, positive reviews zero and above that is around 97% so if i am a user who wants to uh, purchase a book on mental health mind body and spirit so i would uh, go for the power of subconscious mind So this is the model that uh, I prepared, guys, and I hope you like it. For any questions that you have related to the R code or uh, Tableau visualization, you can put it in my uh, comments, and I'll definitely answer it. Thank you.